Ah, spooky high, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who are you? Just gonna mention, that was Cry. I love Cry. This is all gonna be amazing. <laughs> and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Yeah! Damien LeVay, 21. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. <laughs> Liam DeLine Court, 420. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Polly Geist, 22. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin, 23. A mean, self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But, as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Against the unexpected, you spot Scott and Liam engaged in what it seems to be a, an intense conversation. They seem so into it that you can't resist the urge to ask them what's going on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we saw Scott on the Twitter, but I did not see Liam. <laughs> this is beautiful. Well, everyone was always asking for the cape back. Hey bro. hey, bro. Thanks for lending us this book of harmless pranks. Check out what we made. I can't do a voice for him. Aaron does him such justice. So everyone knows we are the prank masters. Phew, that was close. You high five cool Josh with gusto. When your hand touch, his face freezes in a twist mask of pain. He screams silently and you can feel his soul pouring out of him into you through the joy buzzer between your palms. Your body suddenly feels too crowded. You have memories of childhood you never experienced. Cool Josh's lifeless eyes stare at you dully. You are Cool Josh, but you are also yourself, the creature that did this to Cool Josh. The body that was once his is now a soulless shell doomed to wander the earth in search of a replacement. Okay, I don't know Scott's voice anymore. I don't know anyone's voice anymore. This is better than that time when we whipped up ice cream. We whipped I we whipped uh, we put whipped cream in all the cheerleaders' underwear. You're a natural Oz. You feel decidedly unnatural. That's okay, though, because cool Josh's soul squirming around inside of you totally gives you 30% of his coolness, which equals 2 plus 2 boldness and plus 1 charm. Oh, and also negative 10 sanity, but who's counting? We believe that food, like children, should be seen and not tasted. Is that a reference? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Liam. Yep. What? Prom? I don't know how to say this, but you do realize the skies have opened and blood is raining onto us. And I'm not in a chic way or anything. It's starting to get really disturbing. Also, it totally messes with my bun. These are not good times, Oz. Not good times for prom at all. Prom night arrived, but for you, it was more like the welcoming night for receiving your new lord's gourd. 
into your realm. And so you, Polly, and Scott gathered together to say hi to the ult ultimate prank master. Zgord is both thankful to you for granting it freedom and flattered for being called the shit. <laughs> it decides to spare the prank masters from eternal doom, as it always it's its way of saying the prank masters are also the shit. Dope. This means pranks for life. Wait, why that smile, Oz? Oh, how awkward. You're not technically a prank master yet. You're just an intern. Zoinks! Being spared from eternal doom is like a perk only reserved for full-time prank masters. Well, this is a new level of how shitty it is to be an intern. But they were writing all the time, all this time. They paid you in experience, as in experiencing never-ending despair and suffering via the end of days. But hey, what a prank it was. Okay, well, that was it. Oof. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. Until that part where you summon a dark deity that brought destruction upon our realm. Yup, that part was not the best. But life continued, as it always does, and many things occurred to your classmates. Damien died horribly because of Zorg. Zorg. Miranda, Miranda also died in a horrible way because of Zorg. And Liam, oh, Liam, you'd never guess what happened to him. Unless you guess he died horribly because of Zord. Because, yes, that was absolutely what happened to him. For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. Actually, the whole of reality was pretty much gone, just like that. But sure, prom was technically part of reality. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but... There is plenty of battles left in that war called youth. Mostly battles against Zorg, Lord of Dark Realms, and those battles were basically lost as we were inevitably led to our demise. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were, no, we were basically dead for good. Whoopsies! Yo, I'm Scott Howell. And I'm super high. And we're the best. I'm going to tell you why. We're better than pizza. And ecstasy. We're the prank masters. With a Z. What makes us great? I'll tell you what. No other prank duo has such good butts. Yeah, we like our butts. And we can't deny. We, we prank, prank every, every monster who has spooky high. high. We prank the students. We prank the teachers. We prank vampires and mythical creatures. One time we did a prank on an ocelot. That prank was awesome, bro. Thanks a lot. So let me give you some free advice we, we pranked, pranked you once we're, we're gonna, gonna prank, prank you twice because we've, we've been spending all our lives living in a prankster's paradise prank masters prank masters doing pranks and causing disasters prank masters prank masters sacrificing to our dark master we'll take a dank pranks all the way to the prank bank but we needed something new to fill up our prank tank so we found this book and it really charmed us the covers made of skin so you know it's harmless we opened it up and the word started a bleeding way more exciting than regular reading to harness its power it asked for our souls we pledged them just for one reason the lulls the book was written by the dread Zagord. if it wrote this book it must be a prank lord so we summoned it here with the sole intention of pranking the crap out of this dimension so if you're wondering who to thank we've got two words per and we've doomed this plane for eternity because we're the prank masters with a z where are all our friends?